Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see some all-time highs like I do, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys. So AMC did end up closing out the day very, very green. $3.67 in the green to be exact, 12.30% as of today. At one point, we even saw over 13% in the green. That 10% and above range is getting into the area where we will start seeing some FOMO buying kick in from the retail investors as well as some of the institutions. But either way, really happy to see AMC erase all of yesterday's losses on our very red day that had the entire community pretty shook up. So first of all, guys, we have got to talk about the CNBC interview with Gary Gensler. Gary Gensler, of course, is the 33rd chair of the SEC. Very important figure, of course, when it comes to the markets and when it comes to regulations. But what's interesting about this interview that took place a day or so ago, CNBC removed it from their social media, their YouTube, and so Gary Gensler took it upon himself to post on his own Twitter page. Let me play you guys a clip of this, listen to what he says, and it'll make more sense on why CNBC would not want it being pushed around. And uh, I recently started a, you know, a engaging on Twitter and to some of those Twitter followers that are writing about dark polls. We are looking very closely at this market structure that so many of our orders, retail public orders, are not going to the lit markets, but are going to internalizers, going to wholesalers who are taking the retail public's trades rather than sending them to the stock exchanges. So you heard what Gary said, and even look at this tweet right here. We must guard against fraud and manipulation, whether from big actors, hedge funds, or elsewhere. We are taking a close look at market structure to ensure our capital markets are working for investors. You guys, this is exactly what the AMC community has been pushing for. It is honestly super crazy, guys. The fact that it took AMC, a meme stock to begin with, to really make changes in the overall markets. Like it's only a matter of time and things are going to happen. All the things that we talk about in our videos, guys, all the things that we so-called speculate about that some people don't believe, Look at what Gary's tweeting. He's tweeting that he's looking into manipulation. He's tweeting that they're actually actively looking into manipulation from big actors, such as hedge funds or elsewhere. This is exactly what we're saying, what's been going on this whole time. And next, guys, let's take a quick look at the retail investor side of things. Let's see how AMC closed out the day. 15,767 buy orders versus 9,591 sell orders. So we saw yesterday AMC was down quite a bit, down, I think, over 10%. Obviously, a good opportunity to buy the dips, which you know a lot of retail investors did. So, so there was a lot more buying action than selling action as of yesterday, which makes sense because you know you buy when it's red, you sell when it's green. But even on a green day, even when AMC is up so much from yesterday, up over twelve percent, close up over twelve percent, AMC still overall had people buying into it more than they had selling it. Which is what brings me to believe that this stock is different than a lot of other stocks out there, guys. The retail investors are absolutely on board for this. They're absolutely in love with it. And they are not selling until the mother of all short squeezes happens. Next, guys, there's a new post on Bloomberg. U.S. sees borrowing $1.4 trillion in the second half of 2021. The U.S. Treasury Department said the government will borrow almost $1.4 trillion in the second half, assuming lawmakers raise or suspend the newly reinstated debt limit. As money continues to support relief even before the impact of additional economic programs are being considered by Congress. The department expects to issue $673 billion in net marketable debt from July through September, $148 billion less than its estimated in March, according to the statement released Monday in Washington. The Treasury sees an end of September cash balance of $750 billion, unchanged from its forecast three months ago. And next, guys, we have some new tweets from Tafik I want to go over with you. AMC, here are some bullish developments for AMC. Highlighted in the past, two retirement funds are loading up on AMC. They are normally conservative investing in government bonds, fixed income securities. Now invest in AMC. Do they know something that we don't know? This brings up a really good point, guys. 
there are a lot of actual retirement funds by name. See, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, you know we've looked through them. I'll even scroll past them here in a second. But there's actual very conservative retirement funds as, as well as other institutions that you would never imagine end up AMC by the truckload. And you would never really expect a lot of these funds to touch AMC with a 10-foot pole. The fact that they're buying AMC like crazy, especially now that they've been buying AMC for the last month or so, as far as what I've been following along, this is very strange and it does maybe bring the question up, do they know something that we don't know? If there's a big crash coming soon, AMC squeezes to the moon, is that what they're trying to hedge against? Are they looking to use AMC as some sort of hedge? Again, guys, these institutions invest in different ways than you and I. These institutions use different sort of hedges against their other holdings, other securities. So maybe they're looking at AMC as like a hedge against the market. If the market crashes very soon, like a lot of people are calling upon, then they'll have a lot of AMC in their portfolios overall, you know, institutional portfolios to then, you know, hedge against the rest of their securities in there. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered, but either way, it's very, very fascinating. And if you guys don't believe me, go look for yourself. Go to fintel.io slash AMC and go through all the different institutions that have been buying AMC as of recently. I don't really know any other reason why a lot of these funds would be buying up AMC like crazy other than a few different scenarios, but they are buying AMC. The data is there. The 13F filings are here. Take a look for yourself, guys. A lot of these funds are buying AMC by the boatload. And lastly, guys, a real quick summary to go over some of the catalysts that AMC has going for it, some reasons why it can and will explode very soon here. Retirement funds are loading up AMC. Look at the numbers of shareholders vote. It seems that AMC could be shorted even 1,000% institutions and banks are buying more look at small volume while going down it means people are not selling they are holding data from brokers shows that retail is still bullish and buying more than selling each and every day hedge fund shorting can affect the price but not a money flowing in every dollar we invest in amc is digging the hole deeper if hedges make the price lower by half they have to double the number of shorted shares price is going lower only because of shorting and dark pool manipulation Compare current situation period between February and May. Finally, SEC and government are taking a look at everything. They aren't being too loud about it yet, but as we saw a second ago, Gary's literally on TV interviews as well as tweeting about it. They are taking a look at things. And like, and like I said months ago, I have a good feeling that over time, it might take some time, but I think justice will be served here. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC moving forward here. And lastly, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server. It's the second link down below in my description. But join fast because we are only accepting a few more members. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.